you know, I sometimes get asked why Camelot, of all films, is my favorite movie. And the reason is because it actually changed my life, or at least focused my beliefs into something that was, you know, a good solid foundation for a personal philosophy. Uh, those who have power should use it to do good. Uh, that violence is not strength, compassion is not weakness, that revenge is utterly pointless. Superheroes are basically the equivalent of modern-day knight errants. They go out and help people and fight injustices. But a lot of the best superhero comics are the ones not actually about superheroes hitting supervillains or hitting each other or anything like that. It's the ones that show that superheroes are about kindness and decency and something far more noble than the adolescent power fantasies that people often, you know, critique them as. <sighs> I think I hate this comic more than any other I've ever reviewed because it is the complete antithesis of everything I believe in. Holy Terror says that you should be unkind. It says you shouldn't trust people. It says compassion will be repaid with violence and that violence can only be answered with more violence and that violence is strength. That hurting others is not only enjoyable and desirable, but that it should be employed first when dealing with threats. It says that if you have power, you can lord that power over others and do harm to them. It says that revenge is a worthy cause. It treats women as either victims or enemies, and don't assume Natalie Stack is immune to this criticism. Trust me, the book ain't over yet. It tells us we should fear the other, the foreigner, the dark-skinned, the religion that's not your own. And you know what the damnedest thing of all is? I am, honest to God, afraid of terrorism. Terrorism is real. There are people out there who want to kill me either because I'm from a different country or just because there's some angry misanthrope with a gun. That applies to both foreign and domestic terrorists. Terrorism is about making someone so afraid that they'll do what you tell them to. And the grand message of Frank Miller's Holy Terror is, be afraid, be terrified, and let's give in to that fear and embrace every dark, sick, and inhuman part of our souls as a result, and do everything to them that they will do to us. Frank, you must be so proud. So behold the fixer, as he breaks a man's spine when he refuses to talk, crippling him for life, and then threatening to take out his eyes. Our hero, everyone.